always uh, start thanking you all for being here and how you help us do the best we can at informing the public uh, every step of the way. Um, as we've been stating from the very beginning, this has been a fluid operation for now seven days. I'm going to turn it over to our lead, Fire Chief Tim McConnell. Chief? Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, after consulting with the uh, experts who are working on this, explosive experts, we have a shift in our timeline. Now, the soonest this will occur is about noon tomorrow. Uh, they're working to get it done. We've told you that this is a very dangerous building. The cranes are, uh, you know, still in a precarious situation. And so their timeline is has moved. And once again, we've always said that safety is number one. So that's where we are. We want to make sure that we got that to y'all as quick as possible. We literally just found that out within the hour. So uh, we will be giving you an adjusted evacuation zone based on that. Uh, and we're still working on all that planning. And, and we're going to get the information to the public as quickly as possible. Now, as it relates to the shifts, and as you all have reported previously, particularly on crew debut uh, this evening, uh, initially I did make the call to cancel that operation. Given the latest briefing and updates from the engineers on this job, I have now just recently made an additional call for crew debut to roll this evening at 6 30 p.m this will not change so it is official that crew de crew debut parade will roll this evening utilizing its modified route at 6 30 p.m so we appreciate you again and we will now take questions thank you madam mayor wwl and wdsu uh, is there any one thing that's caused this delay that you can say again? Or I, I, would, I guess the easiest way to put it is the damage to the crane. As they got up there and got close to it, you remember that's exactly what we talked about. They got up and got close to it, they found out some things about it that have changed the way they're going to uh, take it down, some of the methodology they're going to use, and that's going to take a little bit longer for them to, to accomplish. And what, what do they see up there? What are they seeing? That's the crane's more damaged than they thought, and so they need to do things that are a little bit safer. How long, Chief, do you, I mean, they're up there right now in a crane. It looks like lacing with explosives. How long will something like that take? Will they be working into tonight through the morning hours? They'll be working until late tonight to, to get this done so we can hit our timeline tomorrow. The Advocate and WGNO. Chief, is that crane closer to Iberville Street leaning more? Or is my eye play? It has, and it, and, and it, it shifted some, and I apologize, I don't have the exact amount. But it shifted some and it did not come back. You've heard us say it shifts and it comes back, and that's a very dangerous thing. It's rubbing on concrete on the building, it shifted and didn't come back, which tells them it's, it's weakening. And so they, the, some of the adjustments they wanted to make were not weakening it anymore. We talked about uh, earlier in the week about how they would go about doing this, and they've decided not to do that. So uh, they've adjusted their plan, and we believe they're the, the, most, uh, uh, the best experts. But we also have experts who are here that are, that are helping us and working on it and, and double-checking what they're telling us. So, once again, safety is the number one concern. And when they tell us it's too dangerous to do it one way, they want to do it another way, we're, we're going with the experts. Absolutely. And just know that I will not authorize uh, the use of explosives during the night. So factoring that in as well based on where we are, you know, in the city of New Orleans, uh, not just, of course, those residential, you know, residential areas, but also the commercial as it relates to people occupying hotels. Um, so this will not happen at night, and we're wanting to ensure that it is during daylight hours. Two things, folks. You've got people who live in the area who have been told to evacuate to what, 8 o'clock tonight or even later? Are you reaching out to those people now to tell them they can come back home for the night? Secondly, is this the crowd you were expecting to see along the perimeter? Is this more people than what you thought? Or you have, do you have any concerns for crowd control moving forward from here? Well, as it relates to our residents, uh, we will remain in contact with them as we have throughout the past seven days. That will not change. So being able to communicate with them and being as upfront, you know, and honest about the existing conditions, we will continue to have those levels of discussions as well as with our uh, commercial establishments in the area as well. So ready.nola.gov, 
where people should be getting their information for determining when they evacuate. And we've been very clear about that. And so we'd expect people to follow that. And as far as the crowd, obviously you've heard our message. We prefer people not be out here when this thing happens and be safe, right? You should not be out here when this takes place. We've told people time and again, we're asking that y'all help us get the message out, watch it on TV. Right, this and you is know, a dangerous operation. That's right, and we will continue to work with with all of our media outlets. Um, you know that you have had a designated area that we're communicating with you about you being able to capture. We're also making sure that we have available for you, whether it's the ear, earplugs, uh, uh, safety glasses, masks, because we want you to be protected as well. So thank you again. Is there is there like a contingency plan? I know that you said it's supposed to melt like ice cream. It, no, I did that, not no. Say that. <laughs> Don't. Yeah, we made Wait, a mistake. That's okay. Gave that if, analogy. If it, if it comes down, is there a contingency plan if it doesn't come down as expected by the contractors? Is there yeah, like that, a plan? Yeah, that B question or C? has been asked for several days in a row. That's the evacuation zone. Got it. The, the plan is to have an evacuation zone, and if it does, how do we clean it up? How do we handle it? Absolutely. That's the plan. Is to make sure that we're prepared for whatever happens. It is a damaged crane. You're not bringing down something that's new construction. This thing is being brought down because it is highly damaged. It is a situation that will adjust, and that's why it's uh, it's dangerous to do what they're doing, and it'll be dangerous when it happens. Associ that's our goal, but it might not happen that way. Associated Press and Fox 8. And this morning we saw what looked like a fire crew or fire NOFD officials going in. Was there any attempt to get some of the, the two remaining Bodies out, or could you explain? No, ma'am. If you've been, if you, I don't know where you saw that, but every okay. single day, nobody has ever entered this building okay. post incident without crews from the fire department, from the urban search and rescue team, to ensure their safety. Safe. And forgive me if this has already been answered, but just to reiterate, how soon would door to door evacuations happen? How far out would door to door evacuations start happening before? Four the hours. Four hours before when we get a definitive time goal is four hours before that we believe we need to evacuate but once again that area is starting to uh, change and we will get that out to you as quickly as possible. Last question WWL. Had some of the Canal Street hotels started to evacuate at this point? I, I'm not aware of that. We have if, if, if they took some action on that they didn't do it on orders uh, if, if they had and we're getting that word out now we literally just got this right we briefed with engineers early this morning, like we do every morning. We circled back for another brief at noon and got this news and came to y'all. So thank you all again so much. Thank you. Thanks.